the Mini Zapper is back with another light gun game, which also happens to be the last officially released Atari 7800 game I have left to review, and that game is Alien Brigade, and it has some really cool label slash box art. You got this nice looking alien, some cool glowing eyes, a wasteland in the background, nice detail there, and even some dudes kind of slowly making their way to the front. Really dig that. Now this game does contain some animated blood, so a little bit of viewer discretion is advised, but let's go ahead and take Alien Brigade, pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Alien Brigade was published by Atari late in the 7800's life, carrying the copyright year of 1990. It is an Operation Wolf style light gun game that can either be played with a light gun or controller. It is a single player game with four modes of difficulty, novice, standard, advanced, or expert. According to the manual, Aliens have secretly invaded Earth, brainwashing some humans into zombie-like creatures they can control and taking over bodies of others. So basically they act like a group of politicians. Now the aliens are putting together a secret weapon to brainwash the entire Earth. Just like your typical 1980s action movie, it's up to you alone to save the entire world. When you start your game, you use the gun or controller cursor to aim and the buttons to fire. For most of the game, you will be relying on your machine gun, which continuously fires when you hold down the button, even on the light gun, which really impressed me. On the top of your screen is the status bar. From left to right, you will see your transceiver box, left weapon, ammunition, right weapon, health meter, and score. When the transceiver box flashes, you can shoot it to get a helpful message from your commander, and you might want to pay attention as his information can be vital. For instance, in the first round, I lost the game because I blew up every helicopter, including the last one. If I would have paid attention to my commander, I should have known that that last copter was actually friendly, rescuing hostages that I was supposed to save, which explains why blowing it up ended my game prematurely. If you are using the controller, the left button controls the left primary weapon and the right button controls your secondary weapon, which is usually something more powerful but has more limited ammo, such as grenades. If you use a light gun, to switch weapons you have to shoot the desired weapon box first. Your light bar is comprised of six soldier icons that slowly bow out and disappear as you get hit. Lose them all and your game is over with no ability to continue. Occasionally enemies will drop items including cans of food to regain your health, ammo, and new weapons. However, there are some things you shouldn't shoot including fleeing humans and hostages. Sometimes it can be difficult to discern between an innocent human and an alien in human form but according to the manual aliens will move faster than humans. You gain anywhere from 50 to 10,000 points for destroying enemies and their equipment, but lose 100 to 1,000 points for shooting innocent fish, animals, mermaids, and people. The game is set up with five scrolling levels to go through. The Jungle Camp, the River Resort complete with water skiing aliens, Underwater where your main weapon is a spear gun and you must protect underwater domes from enemy attack, the Alien Cave Base where you must destroy the brainwashing machine, and the mountain base where you must defeat the evil queen mother alien. Graphically speaking, I think the game looks great on the 7800 with nice backgrounds and large characters. And while it didn't blow me away, I also liked the music and sound effects as well. Family friendly wise, this game resembles an animated version of a Rambo movie with lots of military action, both green and red blood, and even an enemy character that looks like Rambo who can lose an arm when shot. Also, as mentioned, it is possible to shoot innocent people and animals, but you are docked points for doing so. If it was rated today, I think this would either get a T for teen rating or possibly an M for mature rating. At the time I researched on eBay, including shipping, loose copies were going for $40 to $41 and one complete copy sold for $60. So what did I think of Alien Brigade? First of all, I'm not a fan of blood in games, but due to the animated cartoony 8-bit graphics, it didn't turn me off as much as it usually does. Although it's not a game I would play in front of my kids, but as far as 8-bit light gun games go, this one is great. I was really impressed with the continuous firing with the light gun, but even if you use a controller, the game still plays wonderfully and it looks really cool and the challenge was just right for me. This reminds me a lot of Operation Wolf, one of my favorite arcade games growing up. And based on my memories of playing the NES version of Operation Wolf, I'd have to say that Alien Brigade outshines that. This is simply a great light gun game, even without the light gun. So where am I gonna rank Alien Brigade? Pretty high, I'm looking somewhere in the top 10. 
I like Ms. Pac-Man more at six, but I do like Alien Brigade a little bit more than Xevious at seven. So out of the entire official library for the Atari 7800, Alien Brigade is taking control of the seventh position. Alien Brigade might just be the best light gun game for any 8-bit system. So what do you think of the game? Whether you agree or disagree with me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also feel free to click the like and subscribe buttons and follow me both on the Facebook or the Twitter. I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. At this time, I'd like to thank the extraordinary James Campbell for supporting the show through Patreon. Thank you, James. If you appreciate the work I do, please consider joining the League of Extraordinary Patreon Supporters by signing up at patreon.com slash noswearegamer. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and watch out for water skiing aliens. <laughs>